Hey, how's it going? Raymundo Lopez here with Audi Ontario, and this is your 2024 Audi Q4 e-tron. Now guys, this right here is the Audi Q4 e-tron. Audi has gone electric. Now this vehicle right here, it is a full electric car, no use of gas and no use of oil as well too in the vehicle. So very easy and fast to maintain. The vehicle is an all wheel drive uh, model as you see here. You do have of course the pebble gray, black optics on this vehicle as well too. And of course this vehicle gets you 295 horsepower and it gets charged from 5% to 80% in less than 30 minutes. Now guys, the front of the vehicle is absolutely gorgeous. It is the epitome of the e-tron electric cars. This vehicle has a gorgeous design for its grill. It is a non-functioning grill because it is an EV. It allows us to mess a little bit more with that of the uh, look, the visualization of the vehicle, and it gives it a very sporty look. This particular model does have the black optic package, so it gives you more of a blacked out type of look. It also comes with sensors for uh, both front and back of the car. You have gorgeous LED lighting, and it also has a gorgeous Audi logo inside the actual headlight. This particular color is in the pebble gray, which is probably one of the most uh, thought after in this brand. Now guys, this vehicle does pack a little bit of a punch. For being an electric vehicle, it gets that nice zoom right away. This vehicle gives you about 295 horsepower. Zero to 60 in this vehicle is in about 6.2 seconds, so quite fast. The vehicle, of course, it is on all wheel drive car as well too, so it could handle any type of terrain, whether it be snow, rain, mud, the car could drive it in at all. Now this vehicle is capable of charging in two different type of charging levels, a level one and a level two. Level two charging, you can charge it up to from 5% to 80% in under 30 minutes. All right guys, now this vehicle right here has all the capability to be able to charge in most of all the charging stations available in the United States. It uses the CCS standard uh, inlet ports. It has AC and DC charging for your convenience. All these stations and charger ports can be found in any sorts of malls, airports, most uh, parks now. There's actually quite a huge uh, network of charging station and fast charging stations around the United States. Now guys, if you look at the side profile of the vehicle, it looks absolutely stunning. The size of this vehicle is in between that of the Q3 and the Q5, giving you the optimal space with an electric vehicle. This particular vehicle does come with the black optic packaging, basically giving you the S-line trimming with S-line badging, giving you more of a sportier grille and blacked out emblems. You also have your side skirts being uh, blacked out and your trimming for your windows blacked out as well as your roof railing. This vehicle does come with gorgeous alloy wheels, giving you that nice machine gun finish. And of course, too, the vehicle does have automatic folding mirrors as well, too. All right, guys, now let's take a look at the back of this vehicle. This vehicle does come equipped with a lot of quite nice stuff for an EV vehicle. This vehicle, of course, is a full LED light. You also have your quattro badging on the vehicle, as it is an all-wheel drive car, and it is also stamped with e-tron. Now, remember, this vehicle does have the sensors for both front and back of the car. It also features a self-park feature on the vehicle as well, too, giving you a great type of uh, convenience in case you need to park real quick and any of the situation they may have around. Now the vehicle of course does have automatic um, uh, lift gate. It does, this one does come with uh, your all weather floor mats and your carpet floor mats. And if you fold your seats down, you get up to about 50 cubic feet inside the vehicle's cargo space. All right guys, now the back seat of this vehicle, surprisingly it's very spacious overall. I do have this seat uh, currently positioned at a normal driving uh, uh, position that I would normally have it at. I am about 5'10", so definitely being back here, I have plenty of room to stretch out, move around. Has a lot of space overall. You do have cup holders off to the side of your mirror, of your doors, and you also have cup holders up to the center console as well too. Now this seating is all real cowhide leather as well too, giving you that nice soft feel as well too. In the center part of it, you do have air conditioning vents with your own air conditioning control, as well as two USB-C ports and a 12 volt as well too, for any of your charging needs. Now you also get this gorgeous panoramic sunroof. It covers most of the roof itself and back here as well too. You get these gorgeous LED lighting in case you want to read a book or something. All right guys, now this is right here the driver's side of the vehicle. Now the vehicle comes with a lot of exciting, really cool stuff. You do of course have your blind spot monitor off to the side of your mirrors, off to the side right here where your door handle is at. You have your unlock lock 
and your driver's seat settings for up to two different drivers. You do have uh, the adjusting for all the mirrors. You can fold in your mirrors right in through here in case you're trying to squeeze into a tight spot. It also has a heated, uh, you have a heated uh, mirror as well too. So in case it gets foggy or anything like that, you'll be able to defog them just kind of like how you're doing your front window or your back window as well too. All your windows are automatic. You do have child locks for the car, a lift gate control to the back. It does have automatic lights, adaptive cruise control, so you have that capability of slowing down and speeding up to the flow of the traffic. A full virtual cockpit display controlled through the steering wheel. If you notice where I ended yours inside your cockpit, you can see your GPS here, which is actually one of my favorite things to be able to see. Because then right over here, you can be playing around with the radio or whatnot, but your GPS never goes away. Great feature to have on the car. You, of course, can control anything from your phone, radio, and all that kind of good stuff. It does have a nice heated uh, steering wheel, voice command, Bluetooth, uh, volume up and down just by a quick swipe. It does, of course, have all your LED lighting inside the vehicle. It's got a 11-inch touchscreen display with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Those systems come automatically wireless as well, too, so it's quite nice. It does have an app-based system, so you can control everything from your radio, or your media, your phone, all through the system, and you can control up to 11 different phones on this car. Now, of course, you have all your air conditioning control, heated seats for both front seats. All your control of your volume is just by a use of your swipe. And of course, you can also select how you would like the car to drive. If you go on efficiency mode, it actually gets you better range overall on the vehicle, getting you roughly between 250 to 285 total range on this particular car. Of course, you also have your full parking sensors as well, too. And when you activate your parking sensors and it is capable of doing, you also have a self park feature in this car. Now, right here, right below your actually uh, your gear changer, you also have a couple of sets of USB-C ports, a 12 volt plug right here as well, too. And a really nice wireless charger where you can just leave your phone right in there and it goes ahead and starts charging your car wirelessly. Yeah. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Again, my name is Raimundo Lopez. I'm here at Audi Ontario. If you're ever around the area, make sure to come by and stop by and say hello. If you guys like this video, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. If there's any car you'd like to hear about as well too, make sure you leave it on the comment box below. We'll see you soon.